this razor is starting to chap my hide. Okay, so um, I decided I'm going to do a shave tonight and not tomorrow morning because I want to know right now. What I did is I pulled some new numbers. I pulled it at that spot right there. Uh, and according to the numbers, um, it's good enough to shave. Now, uh, that's kind of surprising to me because there's been some material taken off this spine, but I just don't know how much. But according to the numbers, if this spine were any wider, it would be a, a more blunt edge. And so, right now, it's even um, a little more blunt than I wanted it to be, but it should shave. So, uh, let's light this candle. Well, yeah, I am stubborn. I'm a stubborn son of a bitch. And, uh, you know, like I was saying in my last video, it, it did shave. I mean, I got it, I got it to actually shave um, before. It wasn't a very good shave, but it shaved. It was the best shave I got. I don't even know what I did to it. You know, that I put tape, I don't know. I don't even know. It don't even matter, you know. I'll put on some noxium and give this thing the benefit of the doubt. Uh, I took this from the uh, kill the edge, went to a thousand grit, set the bevel. Did some hard passes on the 5K. Shafton graduated up to a much lighter touch. And uh, Went to the 8K, did the same thing at 8K, a little bit of a heavy touch. I went to the light, and I just drilled super light, and went over to the cuticles. So, all right, so um, today I'm going to use my bore brush. This is a super, super uh, soft brush. Uh, I don't really like the softer brushes. I like, I like, uh, rate, uh, uh, I like the um, brushes with a little scrub to them, you know, because I don't do a face lather. But today I'm going to be using the Mahogany Formula T from White Shaving Products. And uh, I got the aftershave to accompany it. And it's about uh, 10.30 at night to Colorado time. And my wife is sleeping. So when I go into bed smelling like this, I'm going to put a smile on her face. So, this is a really good soap. One of my favorite soaps. It's got that, uh, it's kind of got like a, like a, like a um, tobacco uh, bourbon scent to it to me. Really attractive. I like the heavier scents. But everything that the wet shaving product makes is pretty good. So, uh, so see if I can practice a little uh, a little lather management. So haven't uh, visited Lee's store for a while. This is the ugly duckling. <laughs> this is the one ugly ass brush. I just um It's like lathering with your fingers or something. There's just nothing to it, I don't think. But look at the suds on it, huh? Alright, so what's coming up is my honest analysis. Uh, and nothing less. So, okay, I just cut off, I just dropped it. Uh, linen, soft leather, uh, smoother leather, leather, 
So let's see what it does. I just got this out of the barber side too, as you've seen. Uh, my edge from right here uh, looks good. It's a little bit wider, not very much. It's just noticeable, just barely to me. And one thing I did do with this, just to pretty it up, is I touched it on my Atoma 400, just super light, and went over on the uh, 1000 grit, just to make it look better. And it look, does look better. So let's let's uh, let's get it on, huh? This thing is cut, man. It's going to be nice. Because so I got a super silky smooth. Mm. Mm. I'll be right back. I got to move my camera down. Uh, I probably have uh, two of these girls. Not very much. I don't think it's cut, man. Fuck. I got hair, but it's like I, my chin is like really. Oh. Uh, but you know, never judge a razor by its first pass. So. I mean, it's, it's, it is cutting, and it's very smooth, so. Never judge an edge by its first pass. It really feels like I'm shaving with my Philharmonica. The Philharmonica is like very sharp and cuts excellent, but it's just so smooth in your face. It feels like you're using the back of a butter knife or something. The uh, feedback on this razor is best described as having uh, some base to it.
All right, so just a quick intermediate evaluation. Not, if it's not cutting, I'm adding some Shapton tape to it. And you know, I'm getting tired of holding this fucker, man. I think I'll just... It's not shaven and I have to do anything more to it. And I'll just remember it and I will add... And I will do the honing like later sometime. Whatever I just urge. I'll tell you something about those numbers I pulled off the uh, spine like that, or the profile, was uh, I used the outside measuring portion of those calipers. It gave me quite a bit different readings than using the inside portion of the tool. Um, so if I didn't use the outside, I don't know, I'm just saying, you know, it could have been different results. Do or die pass, gentlemen. those hair, uh, chin hairs. Can you see them? Right here. Oh. So I'm afraid what I'm doing is I'm going over it again and again trying to get this thing to cut. It should be cutting like the first second try. And I've been over it twice already. like they're just getting uh, coarser. <clears throat> Which of course it's not. <clears throat> what I'm feeling is uh, beginning of razor burn. Which I try to avoid at all costs. Because it's pretty unsightly, and I'm not that good of a good looking of a guy, so you know anything that I can do to avoid anything circus freakish is good for me. So let's do a suicide blonde. for any possible touch-ups. Just a little bit right there. Um, 
Okay, it looks like I got a good shave, and I am fucking really smooth. Um, am I happy with the razor? That's the question. No, I'm not happy with it. It might be the razor uh, that I just don't like. There's something about it. I don't like the way it sounds when it's cutting. I don't like the feedback. Um, I shaved with a lot of razors. I sold a lot of razors. When I sell a razor, I hone them. When I hone them, I do a test shave every time on my face. So I never let the razor go without it being just perfect. So that's uh, my qualifications in myself. I mean, I know how to hone. Um, I did make some changes in my honing progress or progression. As we all know, uh, so, I'm gonna, right now I'm going to check for a uh, razor burn. Uh, I don't think I'll get any though, because I just won't. Uh, I don't. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna check with the Loom, which is always a good indicator. Nothing. A little bit of hair. Um, so, personally, um, I think what I'm going to do definitely is, uh, I think I'll add some Shapton tape to the spine, just to bring it out, just a fart's worth, and re -hone it. But, like I said, right now, I'm tired of farting around with this razor. I think my math is right. I think my procedure is right. I think I pulled numbers from the proper place. I think I just did everything, just, you know, tits. I'm almost out of this, man. This is my favorite stuff. I always save this for special occasions. And re-busting the cherry on the Bismarck is a special occasion. <laughs> Love that smell. Oh, man. So, I got a good shave. It just wasn't uh, as comfortable. So I like it too good. And it didn't cut. I had to go over a couple spots like my chin. Just, you know, that's not what I'm accustomed to doing. That's not, that is below grade for me. Um, so, it's going to be kind of back to the drawing board with this, with this thing. But I did make, uh, I did accomplish something with this razor. I accomplished something with this razor. Plus, I learned a little bit something about the geometry of a razor. Um, would I do it again? I would do this again on another razor. And I have one just in mind. So, I'll talk to you later, man. Uh, thanks for watching in, and uh, you all take care, right?